In 1958, we got the central dogma concept from Crick. Later in 1970s, it was something different that came to the knowledge of Temin and Baltimore, two scientists. And what it was, that was reverse transcription. These two people in 1970. They observed that unlike proposed by Crick that the flow of uh, information is unidirectional, they saw a different observation and that was reverse transcription. Now first thing you know that DNA is self-replicating molecule but there are certain organisms especially retroviruses. Now what are these retroviruses? There are certain tumor causing viruses and other category of viruses. Why they are called retroviruses we will get to know. There are certain viruses which do not have DNA as their genetic material. Now, what is their genetic material? That is RNA. All right. Now, this RNA is not self-replicating. It is DNA which is self-replicating and RNA is not self-replicating. Now, how this virus is going to perpetuate further if it is not having the self-replicating molecule? So, we will revise what was central dogma. First thing is that DNA was there, the self-replicating molecule. It is going to form itself by the process of replication. You can recall it while I am writing so that you get it revised as well while this is being discussed. Then it formed RNA if you remember how it was formed. Please think in your mind the terms. I am giving you some time what it was, how DNA was converted to RNA. It was by the process of transcription. Very good if you have thought it in your mind. We do not have direct contact with each other but I am assuming that you are taking it like a class only. This DNA got transcripted to form RNA. Later on this RNA was further translated into the language of codons and that formed proteins. You get to know a new term that is codons. We will see what it is but again for that we have subsequent lessons. So for now what we have, we have the central dogma concept that we had discussed. This is the self-replicating molecule. Now the self-replicating molecule would be responsible for perpetuation of the organism. All right. Now supposedly the organism is having RNA as the genetic material, DNA is not present. So what will happen? We have observed in certain tumor causing viruses and the term retroviruses that I have used, these viruses have RNA as their genetic material and hence the name retro, retro means old, RNA is old. So they have an older form of genetic material or older form of nucleic acid that is their genetic material hence they are retroviruses. Now what do these viruses do, these RNA viruses do, they do not have the genetic material. So they have a machinery where they have an enzyme known as reverse transcriptase. Now before we come to what is this reverse transcriptase, what they are going to do, let us see what is our topic of understanding. It is reverse transcription. So this RNA has to take the reverse path instead of that unidirectional flow of information. Now the RNA is going to take the opposite path and the RNA is going to get converted into DNA first by the enzyme reverse transcriptase. It is often found in the class of viruses that I had told you just now responsible for carrying out reverse transcription. So the RNA that was the genetic material of the viruses that we are discussing, it first of all gets converted into DNA that has the ability of self-replication. It gets replicated and then it follows the same central dogma process. Okay, so this is what reverse transcription is. I am going to repeat it. If you have had a good idea of what central dogma meant, it was nothing but it dealed with the unidirectional flow of information from the DNA till the protein. It involved two major processes. One was transcription and one was translation. Now these two processes are often observed 
to take place in all the organisms but certain class of viruses that is retroviruses and tumor causing viruses have RNA as their genetic material. As seen over here RNA does not have self replicating property it is the DNA which has self replication property. So when this virus has to carry out the infection what it does is it converts its RNA first into DNA and then rest of the central dogma process is carried out. Okay? RNA first needs to be converted to DNA then this DNA can replicate itself as much as it wants to and then the DNA is going to form the protein. Is it clear? Now this is what is this reverse transcription you just need to have a basic idea about it that who were the people when did they observe it unlike in 1958 as it was proposed that there is going to be unidirectional flow always we saw that at times from RNA to direct uh, DNA there is an opposite reverse flow and who is responsible for carrying out that reverse flow of information that is reverse transcriptase enzyme that is again DNA dependent type of polymerase it is a polymerase uh, enzyme that enables this RNA conversion into DNA and once the DNA has been formed then I need not to repeat now that the entire process takes place in this particular course that we had discussed in the previous lesson as well and now we had got an idea. You have to remember what type of viruses are responsible for carrying out this reverse transcription that class of viruses is known as retrovirus and for remembering it do remember the HIV human immunodeficiency virus that is responsible for causing the deadly disease of AIDS is a retrovirus only it has an RNA genome it reverse transcripts that genome into DNA and then that DNA forms the particular protein which further increases the number of viruses inside the body of human being. So with this we come to the end of basic idea about reverse transcription and that is all what our slavers demands us from.